Why are these motherfuckers messaging me? I don't get it. Is it because I'm trying to kill Kelsey in the front lawn? Is that why? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sims 4. My character won't shut up. I don't know what he's doing over there. Did he just meow? What the fuck? Um, we are back in the restaurant. What the fuck are you do? Oh, okay. I thought he meowed, but it was an actual cat. I'm glad. <laughs> I think it's a person making that noise, though. Holy shit. That is the weirdest looking uh, cat I've seen in a long time. Why does it have a short tail? Do cats have short tails? I don't think they have short tails. That... That's not good. So we are back here in the restaurant. I've done a little bit of work to it. I'm not sure if you can see through the uh, window there, but we've got some stuff set up. The basis is all pretty much still the same, but I have it looking way more natural. Okay. Everything looks really good. I, I would say I'm going to have to change some stuff around on the exterior a little, but nonetheless, it's at a good starting point. I'm not really vibing too much with what we got going on. I'm probably going to have to raise it up, maybe put it on like a foundation or something like that. So we'll, we'll kind of see as it goes, but... Today's episode is going to be us working on it just a little bit more, and then we're going to go ahead and open up a test run to kind of see what we're dealing with here. That is a lot of music. That is a lot of happy music going on right now. Let's get that lowered. Let's get that lowered to about 15. Okay. That might even still be... That might be too much, honestly. Okay. Okay. 10 sounds good. That's That way almost I can uh, just barely not hear it. Just that, that uppy beat music. I'm just not in the mood for that right now. I'm trying to build. I need some Bob the Builder music up in this shit. So I don't, I don't even know if that would be good music to listen to. So let's pop these walls down. So we're going to be running tests today. We're also going to be... I am stuck in this camera shit. Hold on. There we go. So I'm going to show you guys the inside a little. I'm just fucking everything up. So this is the waiting room. You have two benches on each side. Again, this is just totally made up out of my head. There was no reference photos or anything like that. Um, today I want to kind of make sure everything's set up and it doesn't look like really dry in some spots. You know what I mean? So we've got to put artwork up and stuff like that. Other than that, I've uh, tried to do as much as I can to, to do anything I could. Honestly, I might move this. Oh yeah, that's way better. Something like that. That way not many people walk that way. So nonetheless, this is what it looks like now. Before I tried to do some crazy shit with the benches, uh, and they were sticking through the wall here. I picked the right benches and I just put them back to back. And it actually makes for more seating room. I don't even know how many people could actually sit in these things in the first place. Cool thing, though, when I was making this, uh, the renditions to this, I was sitting in the Discord chatting with some of the fans in there in one of the voice chats, and they were able to watch through the Discord streaming thing. So people kind of saw this beforehand. You can't have many people watch, unfortunately, on that streaming thing. I think it's like 10 or something. But nonetheless, they got to, so it was cool hanging out with you guys. So this is the outdoor patio. Kind of just very blasé. I kind of repeated the same signs and stuff in the back just to kind of make it uh uniformed i guess you could say so this is what it looks like with the walls up in the back i have an open door that's not really logistic for safety and security so i'm probably going to take this down and we'll put a a regular door because when the business shuts down people could just like straight up walk in so that's that's not what we want so let's go ahead let's get to afternoon that way we can actually see what's going on here we'll also see where we need lights so we have the kitchen as well, too. I haven't done much to the kitchen. I need to add a little more. I need like a fridge and stuff like that. Or at least I think I do, but I might not. I'm just going to probably put it there so it looks more filled out because I got a lot of empty space. So I'll probably put a table um, and all that fun stuff. I'll probably move these dishwashers over just a tad bit to kind of get some room for a table and stuff here. A fridge and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I got to put some wallpaper up. Nonetheless, everything is pretty much taken care of. I'll probably put... Well, I don't want to put a table in here because if I put a table in the in the line area, then that's just going to be bad. We have a bathroom over here. I added a lot of plants. Usually I don't mess with plants, but I think it, it just adds a little bit more tastefulness to a restaurant and or business. I should probably do those in my other store that I have. Um, but this is like, oh, this is giving me ideas for the other place too, which is awesome. So let's see. I put these up. I don't know if it really this fits with the theme of the store, but I was like, you know what? There's really nothing else to put up, and it, they're kind of like lights, so I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. I had no wall. Actually, I had little, uh, like rope things here, and I was like, you know what? Screw that. We're gonna put a half wall. I don't really mess with half walls that much. So that's pretty much where we're at. I gotta put, um, 
kind of, uh, you know, filler stuff everywhere. Um, you know, random items, I guess you could say, to make it look a little better. Um, some artwork definitely down the walls and in random spots in the bathroom and all that fun stuff. Definitely in the waiting area, which will probably never be used, but I'm glad we have it. But I'd say this, the, the logistics of this restaurant look well. The, um, there's a pretty big area right here, which is just not theoretical, I guess you could say. I could probably even... Hold on. I could probably even do a little bit of construction right here. Bring this forward. I could fit another bench. Oh, I could oh, I could absolutely fit another bench in there. Huh. I think I should do that. I think I should do that. That way it looks bad. Because there was just so much open room that it just didn't make any sense. So let's go ahead and do... We're going to have to set some of this stuff up. Oh, you know what? Maybe it could be like a private one-way bench that like sits against the wall. That would be kind of interesting. You know what I mean? Intriguing and different. I actually like that. That's different. That way you can at least just get another row in there. It might not be a full row, but you know, not everyone comes in with a huge bustling family and stuff. So that, that that's going to work. Okay, let's set this other side up. Let's get a table. I'm just going to set it there. A little close. Yeah, it's nice working on it like when I'm not recording. And then it's also nice when I get in there after I've just freshly worked on it. Because then I have a fresh take and I can go, huh, yeah, you know what? I wasn't thinking about that last night or whatever it may be. And then I can kind of put it in there now. So we're just going to put that table items on there, which is like a menu and some sauce. I think I just put that in each other. One of these ways... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, one of these ways barely almost... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to have to put some artwork up because this uh, sitting in this corner spot could get a little depressing here. So we want to make sure we have stuff set up for them. I feel like that's just going to be in the in the way... You know what, for this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put this stuff as far back against the wall as possible. That way, because, I mean, there's not much room to the table anyways. There we go. Everything looks lined up. Everything looks good. Oh, I don't have wallpaper there. I was like, that does not look normal. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So here, uh, little tad bits here and there. So now let's go ahead. Let's focus on a certain area first. So we're going to add photos and like pictures and stuff like that. Let's get pictures up. That's not how you spell pictures, but okay. Pictures. Okay, maybe it's artwork. I know there's a way to actually like do... If anyone plays Sims and knows how to do that, let me know in the comments uh, how you like make an actual photo. I want, I want that for the other... Well, I want them for all of them because technically they're family-owned businesses. Uh, but how to, like, you know, actually... How is that a thing? Is it two words? But, like, have your Sims in the photos. I saw it in other videos, so it's definitely possible. Decorations. There we go. What would that be labeled under, though? Why, why would it not be under artwork? So now we also have to pick a theme. A theme that kind of works. I'm going to just start placing random stuff. That way I can kind of see where I want to go with this whole thing. We could see like what... Mm, I'm not really liking the positions of all this shit. That seems like an older style photo. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. You know, it'd be cool. Like, I wonder if there's different... Yeah, there is. Something that goes a little more with the feng shui, the abstractness of what we got going on in here. Maybe that's what we should do in the waiting room is it should be this very like abstract type artwork. You know what I mean? That would be cool. I like that. So let's see if we could find others. Purple. It's purple. and uh, There's a lot of purple and black in here as it is. That just looks like a movie poster, so... Yeah, all these look like movie posters.
Yeah, this should work. I mean, it's 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 purple. I mean, it's blue, but it's close enough to purple, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? And we don't really have too big of a wall right here. It's kind of in between this plant and bathroom. So we just don't have much room as it is. I should probably get rid of uh, these little white photos and, and change it with something a little more abstract. So I think I'm going to do so right now. Oh, those are huge. Oh, you know what? This would be cool in like somewhere right here. I just think it would look really good if it had random shit on the walls. So if we if we keep this pattern up, we should be good. That's like a food menu. That's not too bad. That would be What is this though? Fuzz read article rare print edition. Okay, so we're going to pretend like this is a, a news thing about the new restaurant opening up. And we're going to display it. We're so proud of ourselves and what we're doing for the community. So I was thinking maybe on this wall we could have like this really cool jazz theme. Because they have these like awesome purple, pinkish, like tall photos here, which is actually really cool. So we can maybe move it over. Yeah, like something like that. Wow, that looks awesome like a jazz wall, you know what I mean? And it's kind of along the, the patio and area over there. I'm thinking to like also not make this as sketchy it is. Maybe we can, I would say we could have a door over here, but maybe we could turn this into a, like a bathroom or something over here, right here. So that way it's like a chef's bathroom and they don't have to, or like a kitchen bathroom, I guess you could say. That way they have something. So it'll be tiny, but it's not like they're going to need a shower. I could also... I want to keep this, like, weird design that I have. But I can probably do this. Because this is a nice square that I could honestly use for, you know, the toilet or sink. Oh, that could be like a sink, and then I can have the toilet right here. That way the door can open up, and they still have room to walk, and they can shut the door behind them, and yada, yada, yada. So that could be a staff bathroom. That's a better way to put it. So now that we've got that set up, we've still got this huge wall here that we're kind of neglecting. Where was the decorations I just had? There it is. We were getting there, though. We just got to find those abstract ones. As long as we... I say abstract, but I'm not sure if that's the word that I should be using. There it is. But we'll find it. We're going to get everything. This place is going to look bomb. Let's see if this is too... Maybe, are these movie posters? It is. Maybe we could have a movie wall. You know what I mean? That would be cool. Yeah, like, uh... We just need to fill up the wall. We don't want the walls to be blank and empty and all that stuff. So, we could be like a... Our theme is like... There is no theme. <laughs> it's just whatever we can get on the wall. That might be a little too close, but it honestly might not be now that I think about it. Maybe it could just show how enthusiastic we are about our films here. Oh, that's perfect, too. That's like, we don't have to worry about it ending off too much on one side, even though this side looks a little more open, but I don't think you'll be able to tell by the time you get down to the end of the fucking thing. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm liking this. That looks like a, it looks like another movie poster. I don't want a million movie posters on the wall. I actually really like that uh, photo, but I'm not sure where we can put it and have it work. Actually, that fits well with the rest of this vibe we got going on on this wall. Oh yeah, this purple ele elephant though. On some next level shit. You know, I would totally look at that the whole time I'm eating. <laughs> I wonder if there's, yeah, there's a different color. That would be cool. We could put like two. No, that's too many elephants. Too many elephants. Oh, more jazz. Interesting. We could use those somewhere. I think these are huge. Huge. 
Okay, I'm killing the music because right now it keeps cutting in and out. I don't know why it does that shit. It's so annoying. So we're just gonna kill the music. It's just not worth it to have it. We'll have all the other sounds so like when I click on, or at least I thought when I click on something, it makes noise. Okay, maybe I just had to turn it up a little more. I think it was so low that it was literally cutting itself out. That's legit. I see this arrow and it keeps reminding me I should probably put like a bathroom sign up. This deck technically would, you know, distinguish bathroom. Also, what kind of bathroom? Yeah, Sims universally use bathrooms. Just, that's not a thing. Gender bathrooms are not a thing in The Sims. Okay, so we've got to get a few more things. I mean, the walls are pretty much good almost. We have almost everything set up. Maybe I could put like a, uh, you know, so it indicates to people that this is like the dining room. Yeah, something like that. I could probably move this up a little on the same plane as that sign. That way people can also see them kind of through like this. Whoever's sitting here can see this sign. They're like, oh, the dining room. And then, uh. Whoever's sitting here can kind of see that plaque, so they'll like want to want to look at it. Then you walk down this hall. If you're going to like outside, you get to look at all these amazing movie posters. And then if you really are bored and don't want to look at those, then you get the jazz wall. And as you're rounding this corner, or either going to the bar, you can see this nice tree artwork that we have painted by a blind artist. Yes, so much skills. And then you have the bar, which again, I'd say is pretty the one of the coolest features of this because you have this nice panoramic view of like the outside world. The outside world. <laughs> see what see what this fucking stay at home order is doing to me? It's horrible. Stay in the outside world. I mean, that's that's pretty much what it feels like looking out the window like, oh, the outside world. You have your nice uh, waiter bar or whatever that is. Waitress bar. And then outside patios, you got three of them, which should be functional. Um, through here, restaurants literally have them this close anyway, so it's not like it's any different. I believe these are heaters. I don't know if these are fly swatters or heaters, but I'm hoping they're heaters, because if it, if not, it wouldn't make too much sense. Then again, maybe it, it would, because you don't want flies near food. So everything's kind of coming together right now. I don't really like the way... I didn't really like how it was off-centered. It didn't look good. Now that it's in the uh, now it's in the center, it looks a little better. I wish I could make the table longer. Unfortunately, that's not. They don't really have long tables. That song just cranked up, dude. Let's see if we could find possibly a longer table. Okay. Okay. Long tables have been put in. I still need a piece of artwork over here, but I'm not going to worry about it right the second. I'm going to start working on the kitchen since the dining area looks pretty good. We got the outside. I don't have any like regular tables. Which is okay. We can work on, you know, ex expanding the property or figuring out a, another dining area we can put in uh, that might be a little smaller or something like that. Or maybe taking out two of these benches and putting in chairs. I don't know. Let's work on the kitchen right now because we've got to get this set up. So we're going to go to the actual room, go to the kitchen, which is right here. And we're going to need to see if we can get some type of like industri industrial type fridge. But I don't know if they have anything like that. So I guess we can have a few of these. You know what I mean? Why do they look different too? They look like two different colors. I don't know if it's sitting because it's sitting in a different part or something. Let's move it over here. <laughs> I like how to them they're like, yeah, let's have a 15 foot gap in the middle. All right, there we go. That seems appropriate. Now we can kind of fill in the rest as well too. They have stoves and all that stuff, so we could probably get this thing, let's go ahead and put up the roof. Oh, it already comes with them. Nice. We don't even have to do anything. How come I can't see it like all the time though? I can only see, oh. No, I was, I was literally putting that there myself. There we go.
Actually, it looks like... Oh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say, that looks like it goes with it. Psych! <laughs> okay, there we go. That actually looks good. little overhang for that. So, now we've just got to fill out a little bit more. We could probably put... Um, we could probably delete one of these and we could put some type of, like, countertop in. We could just do a nice black countertop if I knew how to actually place it right. Dishwashers are good, but we don't need a million dishwashers. Oh, nice. It was able to connect it, like, to the dot right there, even though it's clipping on top of each other, but... That looks so much better when it's flush. Okay, that's looking good. And I could probably get rid of this table. Did I put those the wrong way? No, we're good. I'm going to keep that table there just because I would usually have one type of little table in there. Very nice. Okay, the kitchen looks already 20 times better. <laughs> I can't wait to run a test. Let's get uh, some wallpaper going. I think I might just carry on with the same theme we have in the rest of the place. Just so that way it's not odd. Nice purple theme. I think that's the same. I should keep like the same theme though. So that way if like if someone goes to the retail store. They go to this restaurant. They go oh the same family clearly owns this. Because uh, <laughs> it's the same wallpaper. That's If they came to that conclusion because of that. That would be quite odd. And I think we're good to do a test run. I want to do a test run. We need some artwork in the uh, thing. But I want to see how we're doing. I want to see how this is going to go. Off of just this right here. Looks like uh, Dean's about to die. That's not good. Alrighty. Let's do it. Open for business. Restaurant non-functional. <laughs> if you have a functional restaurant, make sure a host, waiter, and chef have been hired. Also make sure a menu has been set for the patrons to enjoy. Yeah, I'm uh I'm slacking a little here, huh? We didn't even make the menu, dude. Oh yes, yes. Oh, this is this is what made me want to do this. Was the fact that we could make a fucking menu, dude. Like this was I was like, when I saw this, I was like, yes, it's going down. It is going down. So I believe these are alcoholic drinks as well, too, if I'm not mistaken. They kind of look like it with the whole umbrella in there and shit like that. Okay, let's start off with, uh, is there like just a regular Coca-Cola or something like that? They got coffee. We got to definitely do milk, orange juice. Is there like a, a limit or can I just go crazy? Oh my god, and there's so many, and you can even say, okay, so, sparkling water, you gotta do that, Americano, coffee, cream cola, buffalo wing tea, that sounds amazing, an espresso for 15, healthy green lemonade, we don't do canned soda, fuck that, I, I could do a, I'll do a, like, a, a soda in a, with ice, juice on the rocks, Dim and dusty. I don't know what. I'm, I'm going to do all the stuff that looks really expensive. You know what I mean? That kind of flows with what we're doing here in the restaurant. And drinks really aren't that important. It, where it'll get real is the menus. That's for sure. Like the food menus. Why does it... Why would the soda come in a can? Like... $18 for these? You best believe. Oh, well, there's a lot of other $18 one. That's a shot. Max of 30. Oh, come on. You're killing me. All right, there we go. Okay, drinks are good. Let's just go ahead and save that. Edit restaurant menu. Okay, appetizers. Whoa. Cheese crackers? What kind of restaurant would give cheese crackers? Uh, bread roll. Yes, absolutely. 110%. Uh, chips and salsa. Let's see. What, what direction we want? Bread roll is like fancy. That's, that's kind of like a fancy way to go about, uh, about this. I almost said banana bread because I read banana. 
Uh, fruit salad. I don't know who would give fruit salad as an app. Oh, wait, these are appetizers. Okay, this isn't something that I would get. I thought it was like something that we gave to them. So this is something that they would get at the beginning of the meal. So chips and salsa really wouldn't be appetizers. That'd be something you would give them so that way they could eat that. But I don't think that's a thing in The Sims. Uh, cheesy bread, for sure. Okay, why not? Uh, I like this dubbed in picture of like real life. Here. <laughs> That's great. Uh, bagels. Good. Okay. Not the most normal appetizers I would see. Uh, that is for sure. These aren't the, the appetizers I would be used to. We'll do garden salad as well. And then... Sourdough loaf. Chips. What kind of establishment are these people running here? A bowl of olives? What the fuck? Why would you sell a bowl of olives? Animal crackers. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I guess we could do french fries as like an appetizer in case someone's like super hungry about to die. And fruit. Okay, let's just let's just do that. We, okay, main course. This is this should be a little better. We should be able to have something good here. This dubbed in food is great. Like a picture of like I don't know what, but like that's real tomatoes and shit. That's just horrible quality that they dumb down. Like look at this. <laughs> oh god, that's great, dude. That is great. Okay, so main course. So they can get scrambled eggs, bacon, BLT, sure why not? Uh chicken burrito, fish tacos, hamburger, yes. Uh kebabs, grilled chicken, fried fish. What? There's a difficulty level? How's our difficulty le uh, level? Pasta Primavera? Hell yeah. Gumbo. Omelette. I don't know how an omelette would be 4 out of 5 difficulty. What is this? $87 for a jungle moss, jungle moss egg with lavender wisp. Wow. That's a tongue pull. I'm going to have three, like, super expensive things, and then I'm going to bump down to, like, just normal stuff ish steak. And I'm pretty sure I can edit this continuously. You know what I mean? It's not like we're locked in with this for here and out. Oh, some pepperoni pizza in case a family just wants to come and have something regular. Okay, so we're going to lock that for now. And then dessert. Okay, so we got pie. We, let's see the difficulty. Does it go 5 out of 5? It does. A pure perfection cone. Absolutely. For someone who doesn't want the standard. Dragon's breath. Interesting. Weight of the world cone. Tiered cake. Fruits of the forest cone. Gelato cone. Sounds amazing, actually. Black and white cake. Fruit cake. Rainbow gelatin cake. Honestly, these all sound amazing, even though they're not even... <laughs> they're not even real. Holy shit. Well, they, they are real, but they're not real real. Fuck. Oh my god, these look so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna just lock it up there. That's, that's plenty of choices. For the people, not too many appetizers, but then again, like I said, as we go, we can see how it goes. And I think I'm going to lock it in. Okay, so the chef here, I would like a, uh, no, I want like a dark outfit. I think it would look good in this establishment. White staff is going to have, oh, that kind of goes with. That kind of goes with the theme of like craziness that we've been doing. Customer dress code. Everyday, athletic, formal, party. Uh, Every day is fine. Our staff just looks like crackheads. That's pretty much it. Okay, so now it's time to hire staff. Let's see. We've got chefs available for hire, and I believe it's going to be the host and the waiters. 
So they all suck. <laughs> That's pretty much what this thing says. Seven dollars an hour for all of these people. So let's see. We've got uh, Yakimo Yoshida, Dirk Dreamer, Felicity Felicity Waller. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, Kalamenu Ulona. Alberto Yan. Okay, so the best stats I see is actually this guy right here. I don't know what exactly that means, but... Or this female right here. Yakimo Yoshida. So we're going to hire her. We're going to move over to current hosts. I have three podiums, and I think I only have one spot available. So why would I want to hire the guy that has headphones on? Uh, I don't know, dude. He has the best stat, but I don't want to hire him because of the headphones, but I think I'm going to. I don't know what the, what what is, yeah, let's see what this. Okay, that didn't help at all. It didn't break down anything. <laughs> there it is. Cool. All right, we're going to go with this guy, and if he's a piece of shit, we're going to fire him. We've We've been doing what we've had to do. Oh, I can have three waiters. Okay. So if they're not a chef, they're going to go ahead and, and they're going to be a waiter. Oh, Nalani's over here killing it. Nalani. Okay, we're going to get Lona. I'm going to call her Lona because it's just... I can't get Lona? Oh, they're locked. No. Ah, uh, means I got to put in work. Okay, we've got our staff. Has hired a new chef. Yes. 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 Okay, we have no reviews too. And we just got a award. Oh, the staff is rolling in. Welcome, everyone. Why does my staff in every restaurant or any business I own have to come to work dreadfully fucking tired? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. This is a test run, people, okay? We're open for business. Let's do this shit. Let's put on a smile. We got this. If anyone fucks up, you're fired. Oh, wow, you could disallow new customers. I could request a table. Okay, people. Do I need to get out? Should I have like a, a... Maybe I need like a computer or something for business. I don't know. Why do they have stars on their head, too? Oh, is this a customer? I don't know if that's a customer. I think it's a customer. But my, my, yeah, I was going to be like, he should be able to do that shit. So what does my guy do, technically? Since I have a whole staff here, this bar is not nearly set up as appropriately as it should be. It has nothing. But again, this is just a test run to kind of see how it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Outside's working. Nice. I like it. Oh, looking at a menu. I forgot to put table things out here, so I've got to add those. Play The Sims 4 for 24 hours. Thank you for reminding me I have no life. I appreciate that. Okay, so... Oh, I see. There's, those are the numbers of the people, so you can keep track of them. So you have these two people who are two and, like, a darker star. And I believe this is my wait staff. Very nice. Okay, so everything's... And I got the chef in there cooking it. What are you cooking, though? No one's gave you an order yet. Like, what is she doing? She is so full of herself, it's not even funny, dude. Okay, and are you putting hydrogen peroxide in the food? Oh yeah, we gotta fire her instantly. We gotta fire her. This is dangerous. This is now a safety hazard for everyone. Good lord, dude. Gotta love it. Alright, open for one hour already. Have we had any sales? Okay, so it looks like it's a nice day and everyone wants to sit outside. Which is cool. I heard someone's famous over at the lounge. Want to go check it out? I just opened another restaurant. Give me a break. Okay. Uh, question of the month here. Why the fuck has no one chose to sit inside? I don't know if it's just a beautiful day and no one wants to sit inside or what, but I'm a little concerned. I'm a lot concerned. I'm hoping some new patrons actually choose to sit in these areas. I mean, they're open and they're... You know what I mean? Like, it says sit. Please don't go outside. They're going right outside. I might have to shut outside down. 
Hold on. No, no, this is good. Let's see. Let's see here. Because once they sit down and that's filled, there's going to be no room left outside to sit unless it just starts double seating people, which I would find that completely odd if it did that. Try being a little nicer. Become disliked. Is this, who the fuck are you, Clara Bergenson? Who the fuck are you? What? Can I text her back and be like, fuck you, stay off my phone? Who the hell do you think this... Oh, I'm gonna... Seriously, who is that chick? I've never heard of her before. Okay, they're not sitting down. They belong with this family. I don't know what this gentleman's doing. Sir, can you please sit down? Let's welcome him, because he's seeming catatonically lost right now. Okay, we are losing a tremendous amount of money. <laughs> Why does my guy look like he has to shit? I need good ratings, people. Give me good ratings. Did we just kick them out? Why are they getting up? Why is their whole family up? Oh, just time for hugs. That's great. All this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. Sit down, Dad. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? I've got to downgrade myself? He's a horrible chef, dude. All right, well, I've got to downgrade my shit over here because she doesn't know what she's doing, so... Uh, I guess all the five out of fives need to be taken off. So I'm going to do all the four and fives out of fives. Those are pretty simple, pretty simple. All right, let me do the four out of fives and up. Oh, shit. Did not mean to delete all those. Okay, we're going to have a limited dessert menu for now. I, again, this is just testing to see if everything's working. She should be good now. We have two reviews. Okay, we're good. We're looking good. No one has chose to sit inside the restaurant, which I'm concerned we have broke something again. I seem to do these to my restaurants fairly often, or businesses, places of business. Uh, so this table's open now, which I'm concerned... Request table. Why, why would I request a table at my own fucking restaurant? Wait, these aren't acting like... Oh, shit. Hold the fuck on. I think I just figured it out. That's the same table, though. Interesting. So, I think I might need the little tables. Because before, it, it's I think it said sit and all that fun shit. And then now, it doesn't say that. Which, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Those are really shitty tables. Maybe I need... Maybe I'm trying to do something too fancy here and this is not how it works. And maybe I actually need seats. Maybe I need to redo this whole room. This is why I do the testing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is why I do the testing. So, let's delete one side. Um... And now we can go ahead and add some fucking wallpaper there because we didn't know that was missing. Which is probably missing on the other side. So I'm going to add tables. So what we're going to do here is tables. I wonder if I could do like... Those really aren't the biggest tables. Maybe I have to add the ones that are in the restaurant pack. You know what I mean? I should have them turned sideways, too, so that way it doesn't look so boring in here. Yeah, those aren't bad. I mean, if I can have people sitting in here now, I mean, obviously it's not bad at all now. So let me get the other side added with some chairs. We'll be right back. Okay, so I added some differences, which I think I like this a little bit more. I mean, the other way was obviously cool, but if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. So we've got to do what we got to do. So, let's see if this changes anything with our seating consumption area. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I can't even really put any ads or anything like that. Um, so, oh, you know what? I could test it myself, actually. 
Let's go over there and request a table. I'm going to do like some undercover boss, even though I just hired these people. So they should be able to uh, kind of see through me there, but we'll, we'll have to see. I see no new customers. This isn't good. We've had uh, two customers and two reviews. But everything looks decent, so that's not bad. Where are they putting this food, though? At the waiter station? Yeah, 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 that makes sense. We're probably going to have to clear that, huh? <laughs> yes, it's working! Yes, okay, cool. So that means we've got way more tables to work with now. That's what I'm talking about. I got two more reviews. We're still in the in the one-star area, which is a little bit unfortunate. I wonder what my perk points are for this. Additional waiter, ingredient quality, options. Okay, so it's not it's a, a different. It changes, too, which is kind of cool. Why does everyone look like they're going to die leaving my restaurant? Come on. We're the celebrities. This place is banging, dude. We got this family here that's eating. I feel like these chairs are way too far apart out here. <laughs> yeah, they're off-centered, too. What the fuck happened out here, dude? Sorry. I didn't... Yeah, don't T-pose on me, no. Oh, you know what? I should do... What in the holy grail is going on? All right. Let's, uh... Let's... I. So, I don't know what happened here. I guess I wasn't paying attention when it came to... When I was adding chairs. So, let me just add them really quick. And then I can move them over. See, so yeah, I mean, if you're going to sit outside, it's it's going to be like a big family type shit. You know what I mean? Even though they kind of defeated the purpose of that. But nonetheless, we're getting there. I'd say, oh, we're going up. <laughs> we're going up. You looking at my movie post? Oh, you work here. Flaunt wealth seems fucking legit. I like how no one has went to get my order yet, but I I guess I just wanted to sit down. That's that works too. We need some new customers, man. I am oh, we're up two hundred twenty eight dollars. I don't know. That's actually not that good. I make more money off the retail store than I do this this restaurant. But between both of them, we should be looking at 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 some good money coming in whenever we decide to work either one. Although we have been open for five hours, so that's not really calculating to much good stuff. Okay, so that family looks to be done as well, too. Uh, is she going to get my order, or because I own the restaurant, it just doesn't matter? Holy shit, they're sick. Yes, it's about time. Okay, Clara, you already said some fucked up shit to me. Stay the fuck off my phone, okay? I don't want to come over and see you. Stay the fuck away from me. Okay, so it's going down. It's working. The dining room is actually working, and that's what I like to see. Why is my guy uncomfortable? Uncomfy. From low-quality furniture. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's, that's just fucked. Exhausted. I'm gonna pass out in 35 seconds. Maybe he just needs to go to sleep, because the staff is the people that are working anyways. It's not necessarily him, so if he needs to go sleep, he can go sleep. What am I supposed to do, though? I, I would assume that I was supposed to be taking orders and shit like that. Oh, yeah, I could check on the table, but that's some low-quality-ass shit I could do. Like, I'm more, in, uh, more active when I run the retail store than this, but we'll have to see. Clara, you're about to be blocked. I don't want to fucking go over to her house. Can she go... Except, uh, let's see. Clara wants to know if you want to go over to her house and hang out. Residential, the lighthouse. Uh, okay, except the salmon travel. Okay, how about that? No! I thought, what the fuck? So you're telling me there's two op- I'm running a fucking business here, man. Holy shit. Fuck her house. I'm about to light this shit on fire. Hit me up again. I'm, I'm gonna just fucking- I'm gonna disrespect her really quick. I'm going to disrespect. Complain about problems. Where is the... Fuck! Yeah, be mean. Uh, yell. Yeah, can we just yell at her for making me come the fuck over here while I'm trying to run a business? It's still open, though. Oh, and he's down. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? How do I get... I need to go back to work. 
Okay, this has turned into a shit sh All I wanted to do was test it, which it's working. It's just not working as well as I thought. So hopefully the business stays open. Uh, no one has been seated. No, no more people have actually left a review, which I would assume every person that actually goes to your business will leave a review. Why the fuck am I here, dude? Okay, let's travel. Hopefully everything's good. I, I don't want it to say it's open, but then actually not be open. I've never seen a sim hit me up as much as she did. That was insane. Why are you with me? Oh my god, are you kidding me, dude? This is like seriously the last person I want around me right now. <laughs> you have no idea. Holy shit. And I don't know how to get... Work for Adam starts in an hour. Can we quit his job? Like, he has two jobs. I need to quit. Um, someone tell me how to quit. Oh, look at all the people coming in. Holy shit. They didn't even ask to be seated. They just are literally walking in. Do I have, like, a sit down at your own accord policy or some shit that I... Aren't they all on the same table? What is this? It's making me question my opinion of you. Why are these why are these motherfuckers messaging me? I don't get it. Is it because I'm trying to kill Kelsey in the front lawn? Is that why? Is that why no one likes this? Holy shit. How are we dropping food off when they haven't even ordered yet, dude? How is it? Are you predicting what they want? Interesting. Not sure how that's possible unless they called in ahead of time. They're like, give us a table. I like how as soon as I add these, it's like these don't even exist. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so everything seems to be working. It's functional. The chef is able to do their thing even though... Yeah, they're still here. The chef is still doing their thing in the kitchen. Again, I don't even know if they need all this extra shit, but I like to have it because it fills out the kitchen a little more. I could probably cut this kitchen in half too. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Let's uh, let's do that because this honestly, this kitchen feels a little big. And there's yeah, there's no reason for them to even need to walk in here. Honestly, let's cut it off right there. We're gonna delete all this shit. Adam's sleeping somewhere. I really don't know where he's sleeping. Um, actually, let's not delete one of those. There we go. Delete a fridge. We're going to move the table into the corner. Actually, I'm going to move this right here. Okay, good enough for now. Let's put some paper on the wall. And we could use this room as like a little like nap room or some shit for... For Adam, because clearly he's losing his mind. Um, he hasn't slept for a really long time. So he could have a place where he could just come and sleep. Oh, you know what it could be? It could be an office with that has like a mini bed in it or something like that. So I'm going to keep one light up. That way it's not super dark in there. But we'll have to add a door. I don't know if a glass door is the most appropriate. Yeah, that works. That way, uh, oh, I don't know about that, actually. I need, like, a business door. Okay, just a regular door. Fuck it. I don't give a shit at this point. We just needed a dark door, and that's what we got now. So, let's go, go ahead and go back to this. We'll fill out the office here, probably off camera and all that fun stuff, so that way I could actually do all the rest of the stuff, artwork, and the rest of the little knickknacks on the table as well, too. Oh, no! Are you fucking serious? Oh, I need a trash can. Oh, this poor person. Do they not have, like, running water? Oh. Uh. What just happened? Hello? Did I get booted back home because Adam has to go to work? Oh, son of a bitch, I did. Okay, well, okay. So, Dean's going to have to probably become our new main character because he's, like, the only one that doesn't get... 
taken off to like go random places. We're going to close the store. Uh, let's see. We've got meal value. Like if we shut it down before they could complain that their service was horrible. Wages owed for $120. Cost of ingredients, $258. We made a net cost uh, or net profit of $214. Interesting. We also have a very interesting name. Uh, started to lose money. You may want to close it until you can visit and turn it around. The fuck you... Oh, is it supposed to run on its own? Interesting. Now I see. So the retail store is a little more something that we could do hands-on. And then the business is something that kind of handles it on its own. Interesting. I kind of understand now. So... Nonetheless, it works. It's functional. We've got to add a trash can and little minor shit like that. Um, they were complaining about water, too. I'm not sure where. I might have to put, like, a sink or something in. There's there's vital stuff that I need to add that a kitchen doesn't have. So I'll, I'll add that stuff. And then we can circle back with it. Uh, we'll probably, like, fuse them together. So I'll probably work at the retail store. And then also, when I get done here, because this is more of hands-on, I'll, I'll stop at the other facility... And we'll make sure that that's going as well, too. That one I can kind of just let go on its own, which is nice. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Yeah, on-site management. Travel there to manage it. So I could be here physically managing this property, working on things. And then the other one is pretty much doing its own thing. Which I really like that idea, actually, now that I think about it. Because I can't be two places at once in this game, theoretically. Oh, she's going to clean that stuff too. Nice. I wonder if she can clean the ash pile. That's She's going to die soon anyways, which is horrible, but I guess it happens. Uh, after that, you can clean that and you can clean that. Okay, well, that's going to be where we wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. Nonetheless, I'm glad we able uh, were able to get it kind of squared away. We understand a little bit more about it. It's fully functional. We're good to go. We can make that be something that actually turns us a good profit and it's just kind of doing its own thing. And I feel like that would be the same thing as the vet clinic. So we're probably going to be taking a venture and starting another business here soon, but I kind of want to work on the restaurant a little. We had to build it. We're probably going to have to fine tune it a little to make sure that it's working properly. There's been like no one at the bar. So I've got to, got to do some adjust adjustments to make it work. Nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of the Sims 4 and we will see you next video. Hey.